Hello everyone. Again, apologies for the bare legs, but um, in the UK at the moment, we're going through what they call a heat wave. And today and tomorrow are supposed to be the hottest days we've ever had. So there was no way I was gonna put my jeans on to film a video. I really don't want to film a video today, but this just arrived and I thought, well, I better get it open. Um, so yeah, just focus on the vacuum and not on my white legs. Look, I'm English, my legs hardly ever come out. So, a bit of an unusual packaging here. We've got uh, two curved wands. Oh, and one seems to have, is it broken? Is it dented? I mean, this is gonna take me half the afternoon getting this uh, duct tape off these wands. Goodness sake, I mean, could you not find a box a little bit bigger? Yeah, they're a bit, oh heck. I don't know if these were, these might have been like this. Can you see, look. Looks a bit like a shotgun, doesn't it? Sawn off shotgun. I'm going to destroy you, meaning the dirt. Right. Um, I'll just put that to one side and take the tape off later. It's unusual that it's two curved ones, but I think that is correct for this quite unusual cleaner, this beast of a vacuum. I've known about this model for quite a while and uh, they don't come up on eBay at all, hardly. I think I've seen one before this one and for some reason I didn't get it. It might have been collection only. This started at £50 on eBay and I was the only bidder. And it's a Hoover Futura, not to be confused with the Hoover Futura, the American canister vacuum. I've got one of those, haven't I? That's the one that had the big hole in it. Right, get rid of that. Two plastic ones. Again, I'm not sure if these are correct, but they might be. Right, where do we get into this? What I'll do, folks. I'll pause the video, take the cleaner and whatever other tools are in here out of the box and we'll have a closer look at this Hoover commercial twin motored vacuum cleaner. Well, this Hoover Futura is ideal for covering up my fat belly because it is absolutely huge. It is massive. <laughs> it makes a Hoover Sensotronic look like a toy vacuum in comparison. This is, I'm out of breath. <laughs> it is oh, a huge vacuum, obviously completely unsuitable for a domestic situation. This is more of an industrial than commercial cleaner. Now it's in red and silver, this particular version. The version I knew first, I was first made aware of the Futura with some, some uh, old Hoover commercial leaflets I've got. And the one I remember was cream and it had sort of brown and um, orange sort of stripe decals on it. But basically this is the same. It's obviously, it's a later version. <gasps> it's, it's hard to to convey just how absolutely massive this vacuum is. Absolutely ridiculously big. And I knew it would be fairly large, to be honest. And I thought, I've not got any room for this, but I thought I have wanted one for a while. Hopefully, because this was all that was in the box, hopefully there are some tools in here and a hose. So we'll take off the cable. I've given it a little bit of a wipe, but nothing major. Just I just got the dust off. So here's the... Uh, 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 oh, here's the control panel. Hoover Futura 2000 Dry. And we can see here, we've got two on-off switches. One for the rear motor and one for the front motor. We've got little bag check slash blockage red indicator here. 
and uh, that's about it. This is where the hose goes in and the exhaust air vents out of two places on this model. I think the front motor possibly vents out of this part here and the back motor uh, 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 the back motor vents out of that one I think. Now there's no country of origin on this. I'll show you the rating sticker. I have a feeling that this was made for Hoover rather than made by Hoover. So if you know who made this, um, I'd like to know in the comments. Uh, uh, right, let's have a look at the rating sticker. This is Hoover model C2736, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 1900 watts. Serial number is 10952 registered trademark we've got the hoover logo there and the ce mark and of course the square within a square means that this vacuum is double insulated okay let's have a look inside there are two clips one there right i think that's what we do yeah there we go oh oh good we've got some oh Whew. We've got some other bits and bobs inside here. We've got, oh, wow, this. Whew. I can dis only describe that as, I would describe that as a gulper nozzle, similar to a wet and dry. I mean, that is a big diameter. I don't know if it's, it could be 50, it might be a bit less, it might be 45 diameter, 45 centimeter fitting. So that's a gulper nozzle. So this cleaner was designed to pick up some very big debris. We've also got, <laughs> weighs a ton, your carpet nozzle. <laughs> Metal based. Whew, crikey. Look at that. <laughs> it is massive, absolutely massive. This is for your Delicate upholstery and curtains. <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be. Is that, an, is that an upholstery nozzle? This is a vacuum cleaner for a giant. That is, it's huge. It's absolutely massive. We've got, I don't know if that's correct for this, but there is a bit of a filter. I don't know if that is for this machine. I doubt it. We have a bag. Oh, blimey, that's a big one. This is not the bag that it takes. You can still buy bags for this. I've seen them and they come with a, they're paper bags with a sort of plastic tube on them. But they were very expensive. I think they're about 40 pounds for a pack of bags. And I know you can use pneumatic bags, but that I was gonna use like um, a pneumatic uh, George bag which are slightly bigger than the Henry ones. But this one, I've never seen a pneumatic bag this big. I'm gonna to have to look that up. It's a model NVM3AH. So if it's been used with these bags, it explains why it's fairly clean inside. So I, I expect I'll still be able to get, that's obviously for a big industrial. That is, to give you an example of the size, that's bigger, just a bit bigger than a pillowcase. So there's that. Here we have a hose. I mean, I, I'd have to check back on if I can find an instruction book online for this. It could be genuine. I mean, I assume it is. It's a, it's, it doesn't seem that long. Not a huge, not a huge length of hose, but it has got a very wide diameter so oh put that to one side and then here we have the container so it's a dry only not for water pickup and I think the bag yes you should be able to just there's a, a bag tube just there you see should be able to fit the bag onto that so if that uh, pneumatic bag I've shown you does fit I think I'll just buy more of those rather than spend the 30, 40 pound, whatever it was for the genuine ones. These are like, as I said, these are like Henry wheels. Oh, 
on steroids. Chunky, great big wheels and a metal, a metal axle there and two, again, very chunky, very robust front swivel caster wheels. Let's pop the bag in. And so just uh, ooh, push it on. Oh, that is a nice fit. That is an excellent fit. Yes. Hang on. Let's get it straight. Push it right in. That's a good. That's a good secure fit. So these are this bag. Absolutely ideal. Okay. Oh, let's have a look at the motor unit. Oh, ah, oh, yes, actually it is. Yes, this could well be the correct filter. This is just a you know just a mesh spongy filter. There should be underneath here a cartridge filter. I think. Oh, yeah, we've got a big rubber seal all the way around. It's, it's in, you know, pretty clean condition. Wonder if I can get a new filter. Oops. Is there a date wheel on this, I wonder? Mm, I can't see one. A bit of rust. Ah, hmm. Not sure if this, well, there's no, there's no other filter. Perhaps this is it. Because underneath this filter, which I think has just recently been changed, underneath this filter is just this uh, mesh metal screen. So it's possible that that's the only filtration. But if I use a, a pneumatic HEPA flow bag, it should be good. Now I believe these, this is where the two motors are. Behind here, we'll have the two motors. And if I remember correctly, somehow, depending on which motor you're using, these, these open up. So if you're only using the front or back motor, these covers remain closed so it doesn't lose suction. But if you've got both motors turned on, I, I think both of these should open up somehow. I wonder how noisy this cleaner is. We'll pop that back. Yeah, I was expecting to see a pleated filter behind that, but perhaps not. Hmm. I don't know, there's screw holes here. I don't know if there was either an optional or another filter you could get a sort of oblong shape that you'd screw onto there. It is possible that that's the case. Is that the, is that the way? Oh no, was it that way? Was it? Well, I can't remember. I think it was that way, was it? Yeah, it was that way. Whoops. It is quite, it is quite warm today. I hope I survive it because if you watch the BBC or other news in the UK at the moment, we're all going to die because it's, it's gone a few degrees higher than normal. But um, I'm keeping out of this full sun. As I say, I've got shorts on. I've been having plenty of drinks and ice lollies. And I think I'll survive. I've got a fan upstairs. So I think if I've uploaded this video, you know I've survived the massive heat wave of July 2022 in the UK. Right. I think it's time to turn this beast on, isn't it? And this is a beast. I have featured an upright cleaner that I nicknamed the beast, the Nilco. So this is the cylinder equivalent of the beast. Oh, and it, it's absolutely so big. Right. Oh, put that on there. Oh, oh it's not on, is it? Oh, heck. I mean, 
I can't, oh, there we go. I can't think that this was even suitable for a hotel. This is, you know, I can't see someone cleaning hotel rooms pulling this along. I really can't. This, I think this is more for a factory, really. Something that, you know, something that a big butch man would use rather than a, a lady. I know we've got equal opportunities and all that, and but you know, there are physical differences between men and, and women. At the moment there is, at the time of making the video. And <clears throat> I must say, I can't see many, many cleaners wanting to use this. Right, well, we'll plug, we'll plug the cleaner in. I'm just going to turn on the front motor first. And if that works, we'll turn it off and then we'll turn on the rear motor. So we'll hear them separately and then I'll turn them both on together. Okay then. Right, far quieter than I expected. That was the front motor. Now we're going, going for the rear motor. Yeah, that sounds okay. I can't smell anything suspect. There's no burning smells. Okay, let's let's go for both at the same time. The lights may dim. Awful knees. Um, <laughs> yes, that's uh, that's got quite a bit of suck to it. I would love to show you the suck using my suction gauge, but it's it's a wall. <sighs> I can't find any more online. I mean, I have to if I get one. It's I have to get it from America. Um, it, it's going to be somewhere. Hopefully, it'll turn up pretty soon, and then I can show you the suction, the sealed suction anyway, of the cleaners. Um, right, yeah, so that seems okay. Oh! <sighs> Blimey O'Reilly. Now do these fit on? Hang on, let's, uh, should have done this before. Where's my scissors? There they are. I'm going to be half the day getting, oh well that's come off fairly cleanly. I'm wondering why it's got two straight ones like this. Now comment below if you think these are original ones. I mean that does go on. And the gulper nozzle fits. So they do fit the hose, these straight ones. And then we've got these absolutely, I mean, <laughs> Uh, I really should get a Henry tube next to this because it's like three times the size of a Henry curved wand. Oh, Where's Miss? Did I get? Where are my scissors? I've just got them here. They are. This is cut through. Wow. Where? Where am I going to put this? I mean, it's a good thing I can put most of the tools inside for storage. That's a good thing. Oh, but I'm not, I, ha, I have seen a picture of this. I'm, it did have two curved ones and of a feeling. Well, I don't know. It's going to be a bit trial and error. I don't know where I'm going to fit the, uh, the carpet nozzle. Right, there we go, okie dokie. Right, so on one of the curved ones, we've got this screw thread. Hmm, so does that correspond, I wonder? I wonder if that goes, 
Mm, possibly, yeah. I think that looks right because, yeah, this part, I'm assuming, does it. <clears throat> no, why aren't you going on? I've got to unscrew it more. Oh no, it pulls out, it pulls out. Hang on, that's it. I think, <sighs> pull that pin up, push in, blimey. You don't want to go in, do you? Oh, there we go. Phew. That's it. And then we can... I don't know if it screws down or not. Or just stays like that. So, there we go. Ooh, let's move you to one side. Oh. Oh, this could be the first video that uh, anyone's developed a hernia filming. But it's odd that we've got two... Two doodars perhaps yeah you see it's damaged might go in oh it still goes in i'm wondering i'm wondering if that's how it goes i'm trying hard to fit it all in the picture right i think it goes like that as long as if the hose fits which it does so there we go oh i'm all ready now for carpet cleaning oh heck oh yeah, I think that's possibly how it goes. It's a little bit odd, but I think, folks, this could be the way it goes. So we'll, we'll try it just with uh, one motor. Today is not the day for back, back breaking vacuuming. Today is the day for setting up your robot vacuum and letting that take the strain because <laughs> it is so warm. But, oh yeah, it's a bit musty. It's going, I'm going to have to take this apart and give it a bit of a clean up. But, <laughs> yeah, I like to show you different things on my channel. Obviously, I, I show you vacuums you can buy now anyone can buy now if they want one uh, but also try and get hold of unusual cleaners and I would safely say that that is an unusual cleaner pretty unusual absolutely huge and totally unsuitable for domestic use I've got a few commercial vacuum cleaners that they're not too big you know some commercial hoover uprights that you can use in the home without too much trouble but something like this oh i don't know it's ridiculously big <laughs> Well, there you go, folks. That's the Hoover Futura, the only vacuum cleaner that makes me look slim. So I think this is a keeper. Every time I feel bad about my fat belly, I'll get out my Hoover Futura and I'll feel ever so slim and gorgeous again. If you have any comments or questions about this absolutely massive vacuum cleaner, please comment below and I'll see you all very soon for the next video. Bye for now.